It's awful out there. Right. Bear with me for a second. I'll put this. That's the fan we use when it's uh, the other day it was nice and everything was open and a, a breeze was coming through the workshop and you don't need that but today it's awful it's raining we can't open the doors because it starts raining inside and on our bits so no draft so we just pull that uh, little fan <laughs> just pop it out the door and make the flow of air go that way so it sucks in, out all the all the spray, all the overspray. I anyway covered the the rest up so it doesn't get uh, this stuff on it. Basically, this is this is uh, filler. This is um, this is this actually. It's the same as that, only instead of preparing a paste. Basically, the process is this. As you can see, that is the windscreen right and as you can see if, if i can show you with the lights it's not so bad this was knackered it was all like <laughs> so first what you do is you bring it back to bare metal of course you peel all the the old paint off uh, with uh, brushes and what have you then you beat it up to as straight as you can get it um, sometimes you don't need anything else just beat it to, to flat but in this case it was it was all rippled and and full of holes and stuff you weld up the holes yeah with a welder um, and then you 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 spray it with um, with that with this red oxide right now Red, red oxide, what it does is prevent, of course, oxidation, right? Um, uh, this guy talks too much. I've come away from He's all right, but uh, not, much, not as much music as uh, the other radio. Anyway, um, The red oxide prevents uh, it's rusting, right? Prevents the steel from rusting, metal. And uh, once you've done that, and you have it red like that piece there, yeah. Then you start filling it. If it needs filling, if it has a few dents or whatever, like this, for example, here, here we we couldn't beat it out, right? So I fill this in, and now I'm going to rub it smooth, yeah. Once you finish that, that's when you. That you do with that paste, right? You mix the paste, brrr, put it on, flatten it off, and then you go on to this process, which is spray filler, yeah? Which is basically the same kind of paste, but in liquid mode. And you spray it on, yeah? And that covers, it, it, it fills it up, but in a, in a, in a like, How to say it <laughs> it just covers it right let's say um, 
I'm thinking of words that I'm not going to use because they, they shouldn't come out of a mechanic's mouth. <laughs> Too high a vocabulary for that. Anyway, um, so once it's all like that, and this dries off, this is what I just sprayed on, you flatten it off and with sandpaper, basically you, you start with 120 before, right? And then you start coming up uh, to 40, 320, 400, 600, 800, right? Uh, the sandpaper, the larger the number, the smaller the grain, right? And the last one you do is this, which is like a, a kitchen scrub which is very thin, uh, that's called uh, scotch Um And you do that, it's really smooth, and then it's ready to, to be painted. Like that, green. Which that came from the factory, <laughs> like that. And I just put the coat of it on, on it because it's perfect. But that, it's all knackered and full of dents, so first you have to get the rust out of it weld whatever it, it needs welding, then flatten it off, yeah, then rust proof it, then fill it, then spray fill it, and keep rubbing it down every time, and then um, spray green, like that, yeah. So once that's that, that's like that, we can join that with it, which is the, the glass that we put in, and that's ready to go on the Jeep. So yeah, long work. So imagine doing that on that. <laughs> it's full of it, all over the place. So I have my work cut out for a few weeks. Anyway, see you later, mate. That was it. Long, too long video.